basically, I believe we have a twofold mission. We need to redesign some of our courses to reflect the current needs of our society. And then we have to take a second look at the mode of teaching. If it's just giving notes, I could, there's no need to come to class. I can go and read, regurgitate for you, and at the end of the day, I pass. But when the lecturer expects me, in addition to hearing that the lecturer said A, I read of the possibility of a B. In discussions, my friend came up with a C. So looking at all that I have seen, there's a range between A and D and not a categorical A. Then we're doing something. We're getting students to think rather than say, I gave you A. If you don't give me back A in my exam, you fail. Then we're not helping our students to think critically for themselves. Then when you put them in a position of authority, what do you expect? They will do the same, same thing as usual. Every day they come, this is how we did it, this is how we come, and we will move forward. So I believe it's a twofold mission. Look at what we are teaching, whether it reflects our current needs, and even how we teach it. So that at the end of the day, our students will have the needed skills and the ability to think, even when they come across things that are new to them. They can quickly rally around and think and come up with not just one solution, possibility of solutions, and then narrow down to the most um, effective one. Just as we've discussed in the hall, unemployment is real. But I believe that it could be that the, the level of high unemploy, uh, unemployed or unemployment in the system could be lower if the mode of teaching were different if we had encouraged more people to think outside the box, to be creative, to be innovative, you know, rather than stick to script. So I think, yes, it's a reality. We can keep complaining or we can modify things to be ensure that the ones who are now in the system don't come and join those who are already out.